In honor of Women's History Month, we introduce you to someone who made it possible for women like me to bring you the forecast every day. June Bacon Bursey, the first female on air meteorologist. Well, it's just a week before spring hits by the calendar, but Old Man Winter is reluctant to leave. Some may call her a weather wonder woman, others a trailblazer or a pioneer for female meteorologists. All of them are true. June Bacon Bursey was instrumental in opening the door to women and minorities in meteorology. She was the first black woman to earn a degree in meteorology and the first trained female meteorologist on TV in the United States. June was born on October 23rd in 1928 in Wichita, Kansas, the heart of Tornado Alley. June went through grade school earning honors in math and science. With encouragement from her family, she went on to pursue a four-year degree in meteorology at UCLA. But this did not come without barriers. Um, for the academic uh, teachers uh, were making sure that girls had a career uh, that they could depend on, and it was absolutely not in science and math. The college tried to shift her focus to something deemed more appropriate for her gender. Her college counselor uh, told her on the first day uh, that this honors math student, my mom, should pursue uh, a major in home economics uh, and, for, and not pursue what was clearly a futile pursuit uh, to get a meteorology degree for what reason. Despite this, June prevailed. She earned an A in thermodynamics and a B in economics. By 1954, she graduated as UCLA's first African-American woman with a bachelor's degree in meteorology. She then took a job at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the Atomic Energy Commission. By the 1960s, her career took an unexpected twist. June took the airwaves as the first certified female meteorologist in broadcasting. I didn't want to because at that time, weathercasters, female weathercasters were were doing weather in a way that they would grab the public's attention by playing ukuleles and doing all little silly and absurd things. So I didn't want to do it, but they prevailed upon me and I agreed and I loved it afterwards and became a television weathercaster. And her talent was far from a show, earning her another groundbreaking title. Miss June Bacon Bursey, meteorologist from the National Weather Service in New York, is the only woman and the only black person to receive the American Meteorological Seal of Approval. An award that honors on-air meteorologists for forecasting to the public. I'm June Bacon Bursey, meteorologist from the National Weather Service. June's mission in life went beyond informing the public of weather. June strove to remove the theoretical chains that are put on women and minorities wanting to pursue careers in STEM. She made it her lifelong goal to pave the way for so many. She passed away on July 3rd in 2019, leaving behind her everlasting legacy. And today and tomorrow, people across America are wearing purple to show their support for women in STEM and the need for war women in the field of science. Wow, awesome. Yeah, she... Great, great job with that piece, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, it was such an honor to talk to her daughter. I mean, yeah. just getting to interview her and watch through her old stories and see her doing the weather with the white Ford marker. Just, that's how it was done. Yeah, yeah really, really fascinating. Done. And still to this day, there's only 29% yeah of women that are wow. female meteorologists. That number is too low. So we're wearing purple today. Kirk's yep. got his purple tie on to hope and encourage every little girl out there that they need to yeah. know that they can come into this field too. Absolutely. Be successful and keep increasing these numbers as yeah, we years go Yeah, we gotta get those numbers up. Absolutely. Thank you, Sam, so much.